Send him in now. Director Morse? Come in. Sit down. I appreciate your seeing me on such a short notice. Your office said it was urgent. It is. <clears throat> the president has been put in an awkward, you might say embarrassing, position regarding the nomination of an ambassador. Because of a Senate committee's overzealous prying, the nomination has not only been withdrawn, but certain inferences have been made to possibly cause speculation regarding the motivation behind the nomination. It seems this was solely the work of one senator, a man who, it appears, has embarked on a personal vendetta against the White House. So it was thought that the FBI could, by sharing some of its information, help us to better understand. Get to the point. I'd like to see the file on Senator Jack Atherton. That's what I figured. I reviewed it this morning. Atherton, John Jay, San Diego, California, bachelor, Mission Bay High School, UCLA, Dean's List, last two years. Worked in father's real estate business, ran for city council, elected, state assembly, elected, first senatorial campaign financed primarily by father and friends, elected, served on several committees, Senate career only reasonably distinguished, generally a low profile, up till now. Are there any uh, vulnerable areas? Atherton hasn't announced it, but we have information that indicates that he intends to run as his party's presidential nominee in the primaries. Certainly the publicity he received as a result of the national coverage of the Lohman business will be a considerable help to him. What about a personal angle? For the last 10 years, Atherton has been involved with several women in Washington, and none of them married. For the most part, these affairs have been of brief duration, never more than a year. His last relationship was with a widow, Sally Whalen. Apparently, the relationship terminated on a very friendly basis. Mrs. Whalen is now the mistress of William Martin. Mark? Of the CIA? Does this tie in anywhere? Nineteen days ago, a man named Simon Capel flew from Washington to the Bahamas. He was later observed in the Rockmore Bank. Do you know whose number one assistant Simon Capel is? Mr. William Martin. His own executive assistant. Martin wasn't about to trust anybody else. Morse even pinpointed him at the Rockmore Bank. Did Morse say that this Simon Capel gave everything he dug up directly to Atherton? No, sir. Well, then he gave it to Martin. Martin was the one. That seemed to be the implication. Implication? Hell! Morse wouldn't have said anything if he didn't know. Frank? It was Martin. That's really something. The FBI keeping tabs on the CIA. Elmer Morris keeps tabs on everybody, Roger, including you. Remember that. Look into this Atherton's running for the nomination, Roger. Who he's running against in the primaries, where his money's coming from, everything. I want the whole ball of wax. Yes, sir. I want this man out, Frank. I want this man finished. Right. Now, let's help anyone who's got a shot at him. Money, inside stuff, anything. We'll have Talford work up some stories. I want this Atherton cut off at the knees. What about Martin? I'll take care of him personally. Dr. Martin is here to see you, sir. Eighteen wiretaps are nothing. Well, something else will have to be done, Mr. President. Something more definitive. Unless this situation is resolved now. Unless we can identify the source of those leaks. Tell me about it, Carl. Send Martin in. Yes, sir. Mr. President. Carl? How are you, 
right, Bill. Good, you? Mr. President, we've just received a signal from our sources in Athens. As a result of the presence of the Sixth Fleet in Greek waters, the attempted overthrow has failed to materialize. The military police, Mr. President, have already taken the major ringleaders into custody. Well, that's more than we hoped for. I understand, Mr. President, that the Greek Premier is planning an unofficial appreciation. His personal envoy is coming to express the government's gratitude. Well, perhaps a little moodier than usual before you came in, but that's all. He just what was all that about? He just sat there, didn't say a word, give him that stone cold look. Quite extraordinary. What do you think he's trying to do, Carl? I'll give you a message of some sort. Obviously not a friendly one. Why? Carl, would you uh, try to find out for me? Would you do that? Bill, I could say yes. The truth is, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> 